Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about Terra Luna Classic and Terra 2.0. If you have not been paying attention to the whole Bitcoin market and also the crypto market, you might not know, but Luna Classic did decide to actually start making a recovery and another big bombshell was dropped. Now the designer of Terraform is not allowed to leave the country of South Korea. Also, Duquan is under heat on Twitter. There's a lot to cover today, but if you're here for the first time, you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with Luna. I highly recommend you scroll down, tap the red subscribe button. While you're there, slap a like on the video. It will just help the YouTube algorithm push the video out to more people. More people see the incredible side of Luna. They decide to buy into it while it's low. It starts backing up and all of us make a lot of profits. So make sure you go down and slap a like on it. Other than that, let's get straight into it. So to begin with today's video, first of all, let's talk about the overall market and the way it has been acting from the past 24 hours. Bitcoin has climbed back up from 18,000 to 20,000. Ethereum is well over a thousand. And at the same time, Terra Classic is starting to show some positive trends. Now, before we look at the charts, I want to talk to you guys about something that is really serious here. so core terra designer banned from leaving south korea mr a claims to have inside knowledge of certain dealings by ceo duquan investors want to prevent the individual from leaving the country duquan claimed to cash out enough money to buy an island according to mr a prosecutors are considering a search and a seizure of duquan's assets direct charges are also considered against terra chief and other employees now these are some big allegations that we are talking about because if you think about it the prosecutors are completely going against luna classic right now i mean yes it makes sense but at the same time having them not being able to leave the country that is a big deal that just means that maybe there might be some big big things that are yet to come out and at the same time there is so many things that the whole of Terra Classic did not know about. Now, before we carry on with the video, I want to talk to you guys about 3Commas. 3Commas is a platform that provides crypto traders with tools to centralize their operation in one interface so they can maximize their profit, minimize the risk, and also limit the losses on multiple exchanges. Users can track all their trades and monitor portfolio performance while executing their strategies with a smart trading terminal and robust trading bots powered by custom or present trading signals now this is really good because if it's going sideways if it's going up down you will be making profit three commas has some really good features that can help you such as ready-made presents from experienced traders dca bots hold bots and there is much more there are also a lot of exchanges that they work with the prices are very low if you do decide to actually buy into their starter pack the normal price is $29.49 for advanced and $99 for pro. But using the link in the description, you guys will get a 50% discount at checkout. Use code YELLOW, 5% extra discount that will be valid for 7 days. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. Other than that, let's get back into the video. Now, if we decide to move on to the chart, it also portrays something very similar. So you guys can see when the market did decide to start recovering again, Luna Classic did something similar. We did have close to a 25% incline just in the past 24 hours. Now, after that, the next 24 hours that came through, you guys can see we did have a strong pullback. And right now we're sitting on a strong support, which have been tested quite a bit in the past, as you can see around here. Now, the five is going to be a close support which will be very important for Terra Classic to hold on to because if it does decide to fall below this when the market goes more bearish maybe Luna Classic could actually add another zero to its prize and that would personally not surprise me the way everything is going on. Personally, I do not think it is only Luna's fault because obviously the whole market is in a very strong bearish trend. But at the same time, Luna Classic has been holding on to its price pretty strong since the 13th, which is close to seven days while the whole market has been in a downtrend. But of course, there is still a chance that we might actually keep spiking down. If you do decide to look at the coin market cap, you can see it is up about 2%, which is not significant. But what is significant is the trading volume. It is up close to 
32%, which is amazing. At the same time, the trading volume to the market cap ratio has grown back to the 29%. Circulating supply has just slowly crossed the 50 market. As you can see, we are on 50.11 billion. Also, I do want to mention while we're talking about Terra Classic, on the other hand, Terra Luna, which is the new one that came out, or Terra Luna 2.0, now has officially been declared that the market cap is sitting close to 250 million. The trading volume is close to 250 million as well. So the trading volume to the market cap ratio is nearly 100%, which is amazing. But something that is not amazing is the max supply has been removed. If you remember, initially there was a max supply and that means not more than that specific amount can be generated of Terra 2.0. But now it seems that that cannot be confirmed by the CMC and uh, that is a little scary just for me personally and also if you decide to look at the market cap number it is 224 and terra classic is 216 so the market cap of terra classic is slightly better compared to terra 2.0 another thing which i want to show you guys is terra duquan goes on a charm offense becomes a motivational speaker to keep hopes of the investor i mean it's very clear that a lot of people are starting to lose complete hope over Luna. Duquan has turned into a motivational speaker to keep the hopes alive. Only hold beliefs that will consist of five digits or one. Now, what he's trying to say is obviously suggest towards the fact please keep hope in Terra Classic and SR2 Rep 2.0 as it will be doing better over time. And it's very clear to see that a lot of investors have clearly lost their hope as the market cap has fallen below 500 million. Another thing is class action. Lawsuit accuses Terraform labs of misleading investors. Following the Terra stable depegging incident, a class action lawsuit has been filed against the company and the number of other crypto companies over the collapse of UST and USDD is also doing something similar which is obviously connected to Tron. The case against Terraform was filed by Nick on behalf of others similarly situated and the law firm is Scott. Now this could go completely against I mean, there's just so many things going against my boy Duquan right now. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes against them as well. But it's really clear to see why people are a little mad. And at the same time, after this, a lot of people lost trust in the whole crypto market. And that's why we had such a big downfall. Another thing which is really interesting is CZ corrects Coindesk accusation of Duquan about the lunar crash. Coindesk released an article pointing out that ETH address possible for the lunar crash belongs to Terra. The CEO of Binance pointed out that the wallet may not belong to Terra. CZ also resisted that he is not defending Terra. As you know, initially CZ was not in the side of Terra at all, but it's good to see that he's still trying to say what is right which i personally really like it and finally right now the price is starting to look very firm and it's starting to go down and the price trends are not looking very great when it comes to luna personally i'm keeping my close eye on luna classic over luna 2.0 because the 2.0 a lot of people are still very skeptical but classic a lot of whales are keeping their eye on it other than that thank you so much for watching the video till the end hope you guys enjoy if you did drop a like on it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.